This is Coin 6 News at 10 on Portland CW. The night off. Police are investigating a crash in North Portland that killed one person and sent several others to the hospital. Our Jamie Seymour is live with what we know so far. Jamie, you're learning a homeless man rushed to help the people who were injured. Yeah, Liz, now much of this scene has cleared up out here, but earlier in the midst of the chaos, a homeless man heard the crash from his tent and rushed over to the victims. He says that he didn't give it a second thought and instinct jumped in when he went to go help those people out. A horrific crash in North Portland Saturday has killed at least one person. John Connor was just feet away when he saw everything unfold. I heard the uh, bang of what I think was the guy's tire blowing out as he uh, fishtailed into the uh, oncoming traffic. Connor says he's homeless and was working on his motorcycle in his tent near North Columbia and Peninsula when he looked out only to see the car hit another with no time to get out of the way and quickly jumped into action. And I just ran over to the car and started uh, cutting the passenger seatbelt off because I could smell a little gas. I wasn't sure if it you know, go up or not. Much of the driver's side of the car was torn off in the crash, and it wasn't until Connor pulled the passenger out that he realized the driver was on the ground, but it was too late. I tried to you know, get some stuff out to put pressure on the wound, and by the time I did that, he was gone. He says the passenger appeared to have a major concussion and was in shock, wandering off before first responders got there and took him to the hospital. Police say the truck that was also involved had five people inside, including three children. While it's unclear how they're doing, all were taken to the hospital. Unfortunately, Connor says it's not the first time he's seen a deadly crash in that area, but it was a no brainer to try and help. You know, living on the streets for 10 years, you know, you see a lot of stuff. Portland police closed down that part of the Kenton neighborhood as they investigate what exactly happened. Now, Columbia has reopened traffic between Peninsula and Argyle, so cars are able to move back through this area. This is the 26th major crash Portland police have responded to this year and the third in within 24 hours. This also marks the 21st traffic-related death in 2022. Reporting live in North Portland, Jamie Seymour, Coin 6 News.